we are going to see the Doppler effect. First, let's suppose we drop uh, some object on the water and continuously, so we will see this kind of wave propagation, something like this. Now, um, let's suppose that instead of dropping the, uh, the object in the water at the same time in the center of the water, we drop it here, and then instead of the next one, drop it here on the same point, we drop it further, uh, to the right. So here, we will see this kind of wave. And then again, uh, we move a little bit to the right. And then again. So I'm exaggerating this. So uh, we have that the, uh, the speed of propagation is the same. The speed is the same. Same always. Because we are dropping it constantly at the same time. But um, here, the, the waves are getting closer and here are getting far away uh, each time these are getting further away so each time here the wavelength wavelength increases and here the wavelength that is the the distance between one crest and another or something like that it actually is between this uh, this and this is this is the wavelength this is the wavelength, not here, here. So here the wavelength is decreasing, and so the frequency is increasing here, the frequency is decreasing here. So if we have the person here, A, and the person B, the speed is the same, the speed is the same, but the wavelength and the frequency are different, so this person will be sent this with a higher frequency so we see a speech sound and this person B will listen this the same object uh, to a low pitch uh, sound because the frequency is decreasing here so uh, we will see the same like uh, let's say that it is like for example when when a um, car which sound is passing through closer, for example, here to, to the house. Well, it's getting closer to us. We see, like, like very speed, like, I think. Uh, and if it goes uh, further away, when it's going away, then now we're in the condition of B. And so instead of here, like, we hear it like, like, a uh, low pitch, like, something like that, because it's now with uh, less frequency. And so this happens in, for example, in this plane. So we have here this plane. Here I have this plane. And the the wave sounds that are that are emitting go something like this. But this plane is moving towards this direction. So it is like if we move the source of the of the of the wave to the right. So actually, it's doing something like this. So at the end here, the waves are getting closer and closer and closer. That actually the molecules here that are getting closer and produce a barrier, actually a barrier. And if we break this, we are breaking the sound barrier. And this is an equal to just an explosion, something like that. And the reason by which we will not break, for example, the windows of the houses is because the the energy that is released is decaying with the square of the distance, so uh, so each distance that is passing it will decay. And uh, we are not going to break the, the windows of the of the flame because the waves are going out out of the flame, so they will not hit the flame. So this is the Doppler effect. And when we have this uh, that the object is moving, the source of the of the of the waves are moving towards the right, we have something called the bow, bow wave. That is like this, here, 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 something like this, and at the end we see some kind of a V. So the wave is propagating through this, and this is called the bow wave. 
So now in the next video we will see the the mathematical representation of the base. What we will see the prefix.